Hey guys, welcome back to the Z Code System Podcast. Drew here with you. Today, we're going to take a look at some international soccer, which is going to be coming up this summer. It's going to be a pretty busy summer of great soccer action. So if you are a big soccer better and a sports investor looking for a great international tournament to get behind, well, you've got the UEFA Nations League, which will be kicking off in June. It is going to be a lot of fun as the top teams in Europe, the top international teams, that is, will be battling in the UEFA Nations League. And this is going to take place for much of June and then will resume again in September. So we're going to have a lot of great action. And it's not just the men that will be playing this summer as well. Uh, we'll have the men in the UEFA Nations League, which you can follow along with on Z Code System. And we'll also have the Women's Euro Championship, which is going to bring together the best women's soccer teams around Europe for a fantastic tournament that will be played in England. And guys, thanks for tuning in here on YouTube. If you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get updates every time we post a video here on YouTube. We post almost every day with pics and previews of upcoming sporting events, whether it be baseball, basketball, soccer, or NHL ice hockey, lots of things that we post here. And of course, go over to the Z Code System website and sign up today so you can get up to date on everything that, uh, that happens at Zico System, as well as using the tools that uh, Zico System has there for you to make your educated sports investments and to hopefully win profits. All right, guys, let's talk about the UEFA Nations League, which will be coming up this year. Uh, this is a massive tournament. Uh, it's new. It's a newer tournament. So a lot of soccer fans might not be quite as familiar with this tournament as others. Um, it's going to be kicking off in June, and we're going to be seeing the the group stage of the UEFA Nations League being played. And this is very similar to uh, a lot of the other major soccer tournaments that are played uh, around the world. There's going to be a group stage with the winners of this, um, of League A, make it moving on to the finals and so it's going to be a little bit more complex than that, though. And so I encourage you to go read up on the blog that I have posted today. It will be there uh, as soon as this video goes live. You can go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog, and you can read up on all of the, the rules, the format, the structure of the tournament. But for the most part, all you need to remember is that the League A of the Nations League is going to feature the top teams, the top 16 teams from UEFA and these teams are going to be battling it out in four groups of four. And the UEFA Nations League was created to pretty much do away with what was seen as meaningless exhibition games uh, between the top teams in soccer around the world. And this gives us a more competitive and more meaningful um, set of games that teams can play and uh, go for a trophy. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's going to be a prelude to the FIFA World Cup, which will be taking place at the end of this year in Qatar. All right, guys, let's look at a few of the let's look at the schedule for the upcoming UEFA Nations League coming up in June. So here you can see I've got it simply put here, and this is from the blog, straight from the blog, so you can go there and read up on this. Um, we're going to have the New UEFA Nations League split into different leagues. We've got League A, B, C, and D, and as you can see there, League A is the top of the pile, while League D is, well, the minnows of European soccer. And in League A, we have the best of the best, 16 teams who are going to be playing four teams in four different groups. And we've got France, Denmark, Croatia, Austria, Spain, Portugal, Switzerland, Czech Republic, making up a uh, Group A2. Then we've got Group A3 of Italy, Germany, uh, England, and Hungary. And then Group A4 of Belgium, the Netherlands, Poland, and Wales. And right off the bat, looking at that, I can see that the group of death is certainly going to be that Italy, Germany, England, and Hungary group. That is going to be a very difficult group. Um, Italy missed out on World Cup qualification this year, so did Hungary, but those two teams will be really set on showing that they are still one of the top teams in European football. So that's going to be definitely the group of death, uh, followed closely behind by Spain, Portugal, Switzerland, and the Czech Republic. That's going to be a tough one, but I can already pick out the teams I think that are going to come through these groups, 
And I think that Lee, that Group A is going to be, excuse me, Group A1, I should say, is going to be France winning it, and Group A2 followed by Spain. Group A3, I like Germany in that group. And Group A4, I think it's a bit of a toss-up between Belgium and the Netherlands. Uh, I think Belgium, although a good team, always overvalued to win an international tournament. And I think the Netherlands might pull that one out. So I'm going to go for my group winners, France, Spain, Germany, and the Netherlands. Now, the thing about the Nations League is it's a long tournament. This is a marathon. So we're going to see the group stages played in June and September. And it's not going to be until June 2023 that we see the actual finals, the semifinals, and the final for League A. Now, Group Leagues B, C, and D are merely fighting for promotion. These teams are all fighting to uh, move up to the league above and then hopefully one day reach that League A where those teams will be fighting for the league trophy. Now, the Nations League does somewhat replicate what we see in club soccer in Europe with promotion and relegation. And therefore, that was UEFA's idea to um, offer up meaningful soccer for your for your international matches. So whether it does or doesn't, um, that's up for debate. But it has so far been received well by fans. Now, this will just be the third edition of the tournament. The first edition in 2018-19 was won by Portugal. And in 2021, France lifted the trophy after beating Spain in the final. Okay, so sticking with the blog, just straight off of the blog there, we can see the key dates for the tournament. So match days one and two are going to fall between the 1st and 8th of June. Match days three and four between the 9th and 14th of June. Uh, match days five and six, uh, those are not going to come to us until September. So the end of September, those match days will come to us between 22nd and 27th of September. And then, like I said, fast forward to June 2023, when we have the semifinals of the UEFA Nations League, League A, and then we will have the final and third place playoff on June the 18th, 2023. So a lot of great soccer action to go on now over the next 12 months or so. But the, like I said before, the UEFA Nations League will be interrupted by the upcoming FIFA World Cup, which will be taking place at the end of the year. Now, if you aren't aware, uh, the FIFA World Cup typically always happens in the summer. Uh, based on the European soccer calendar, but this time around with the tournament being held in Qatar, they have adjusted it due to the incredible heat that the Middle Eastern country has during the summertime. So the tournament will not be played until the end of the year when the weather will be cooler. All right, before we go today, let's take a look at the odds, the outright winner's odds to win the UEFA Nations League 2022-2023. Okay, so as you can see in front of you, we've got Bet365, my favorite online sports book, the one I use regularly here on our videos for Z-Code System. And we've got the odds for the outright winners of the UEFA Nations League tournament. And as you can see, their reigning UEFA Nations League champions, France, are the favorites to win it. And France are, and we'll talk about this later on, we're going to be talking about the UEFA World uh, excuse me, the FIFA World Cup coming up soon. We'll be previewing that uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, they're going to be one of the favorites to win that tournament as well. France are littered with fantastic players. Uh, they have an incredible squad, and they will likely be one of those teams fighting towards the end of the uh, the UEFA World Cup. Uh, France also the reigning FIFA World Cup winners. They won it in 2018 in Russia. Spain, who were the runners-up at the last UEFA Nations League, they come in at plus 600. Uh, Belgium, like I said, always overvalued. Uh, in international soccer betting, they're plus 600. Uh, they tend to fall short, though, uh, still never having won a World Cup uh, trophy and um, also falling short in the two previous UEFA Nations Leagues. Italy, plus 800. Now, Italy, interesting team there. They won the last European Championships last summer, defeating England in the final. Uh, in London, uh, but Italy missing out on the World Cup for later this year, uh, falling short and really disappointing uh, on the their journey to possibly qualifying for the World Cup. Uh, they were knocked out by Portugal in the playoffs, who are at plus 900 to win the UEFA Nations League. There's England, who um, are having a golden generation right now. Uh, they are the reigning runners-up of the uh, European Championships. They did well with that last year, and uh, they will fancy their chances. Uh, a team there I want to highlight before we go, Germany. 
Germany with new manager Hansi Flick. They've done very well under him. And I think this is a team, although uh, maybe at a bit of a crossroads with some of their squad, uh, I think this is a team that could really surprise at this year's UEFA Nations League. And at the moment, that's my sleeper team, my sleeper pick. All right, guys, so those are the odds for the upcoming UEFA Nations League, which will kick off in June and should bring in a fantastic summer of soccer action for both men's and women's soccer at the international level, that is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Now, be sure to subscribe to the channel so stay up, to stay up to date on everything we post here on the Z Code System YouTube channel. And, of course, go over to the blog. You can read everything I wrote there about the upcoming UEFA Nations League. Lots more that I didn't talk about in this uh, video. And, of course, you can find all the other things that we post there, the picks and the predictions and, well, everything else that we post, the previews. Uh, and, of course, sign up today for Z Code System so you get access to all of the tools that we have there for your soccer or, well, rather sports investing. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Have a good day and enjoy your betting.